So to get started in this craft, you're gonna need a little garden dish, as they call it, at the Dollar Tree. Most of the items I am showing you that I did get at the Dollar Tree, and a few items I did not, and a few things I already had on hand. You're gonna need a few of these little succulents, also from the Dollar Tree. You might be able to repurpose those little pots because we are going to be pulling these succulents out. The next thing you're gonna need is these styrofoam balls. I found this at the Dollar Tree as well, and they have multiple sizes. And I looked in the bag to see if I could create a little Mickey head because that's what I'm gonna be doing and covering it with moss for a topiary. The one thing I did get at Big Lots, and I am kicking myself for it because this little teeny tiny bag was $4, and you can get three times this much at the Dollar Tree, but they were out and I really wanted to do this craft today, so I bit the bullet and purchased that. As well as these little rocks, and the black rocks I found at Target in the Dollar Spot for a dollar. This cute little item I found in the little fairy garden section at the Dollar Tree. I wanted this bunny in particular because I do follow the Instagram account of Bunnies of Walt Disney World. So we had to add a little bunny. And then you just want a various amount of these floral picks from the Dollar Tree. They have so many beautiful flowers to pick from. And of course, you're gonna need some glue sticks and your glue gun. So the first thing I wanted to do was go ahead and make this Mickey Mouse topiary. Be very careful and do this like as soon as your glue gun starts to heat up because you don't want to melt the styrofoam. So now that we have our last ear on, we're just gonna hold that for a few minutes for the glue to dry. And then we are gonna move on and cover this entire Mickey head in hot glue. If you're worried about being burnt with the hot glue, you can always use another source of glue, such as Elmer's glue, and then stick the moss on. If you can find little fairy garden rocks that are round and in the shape that you want, you can obviously go in that fashion. I just kind of wanted to do it myself and it was a little bit harder than I thought but I think that it turned out really cute and I can't wait to show you guys here in a few minutes so I just started in little sections so you can of course start your Mickey head anywhere that you would like I just started in the middle to try to keep the shape in between the ears as flat as possible and if you have a little stick or something that you can use to push the moss down so you're not sticking your fingers into the hot glue, that may work better for you. I used my fingers just so I could shape it a little bit better. And at the end, if there's any excess, I will be showing you in a little bit that you can trim all of that extra stuff off so it's not sticking up anywhere. But I'm just gonna continue to glue and stick more moss on. Now the main part of it is covered in the moss and the glue has cooled down just a little bit. I went through and just kind of patted it in with my hands to make sure it had full coverage as much as possible or to see if there was anywhere that I also needed to cover up. And I apologize that I keep going in and out of frame. I kind of get in the moment in doing these crafts and completely forget that I'm filming it for you guys. And so I apologize for that. So here I am just filling up another empty space. So now I'm just going to continue and I'm going to start at the base and start covering the ears. I found it helpful when doing the ears to make sure as I was going along that I continued to keep shaping it 
otherwise it could definitely get out of hand and look just like a giant blob so it did take a little bit of pressing and I used my nails but like I said you could use anything that you want to go up underneath it to make sure you have your circle for the ears completely formed now that I have all of the styrofoam covered, I'm going through and just trimming any excess off that makes it look a little crazy and wild because we do want this to be formed and nice just like you see at Walt Disney World. Once you have your perfect little Mickey head put together, set that aside because that's going to end up being the centerpiece. So now it's time to start assembling your fairy garden. I added those black rocks at the bottom. And then I started adding on the moss. You can use as little or as much as you want. I only put it in the middle because I definitely wanted to see the layers that I'm adding. I definitely wanted to see the rocks at the bottom. So I only added a little bit of moss dead center. And then I just pressed that down. Next, I just took those little succulents out of the pot and I'm gonna be cutting the stems off. And I'm just gonna be placing it to the back side of this bowl. And I'm going to do that again with the other one. And really, guys, you could get so creative with this. You could do so many different things with it. A different succulents, different flowers, just anything that you want to use. Here I'm putting some like little mossy ivy. I have no idea what this stuff is called, but it looked really pretty. And I loved all the different greenery in here, like all of the different shades of green, I guess. I am not a floral person at all, so I know I'm botching this completely up. I just went with what looked pleasing to me and to the eye when I was looking at everything. Just continue to put different pieces of ivy and greenery and floral things in as you see fit. I realize that not everyone may have these exact same things in their area or available to them in their dollar store. So just pick out the things that are pleasing to you and get creative. One thing I forgot to show you guys that I did pick up this package of assorted rocks at the Dollar Tree as well. These are so cute and you can use them for so many things as a matter of fact this is way too many for this craft so i'm definitely going to be using them for another flower and garden festival themed craft coming up very very soon so make sure that your notifications are turned on so you don't miss it here i'm just placing rocks at random all around the front because i do not want to cover the entire moss like i said i want to see all of the layers so i'm just putting in a little handful here and there here I decided to add just a little pop of color by adding a couple of these little purple flowers that I pulled off. You can add as many or as little as you would like. Now it's time to place that sweet little Disney bunny in there. I just decided to kind of like nestle it in the rocks a little bit so it blends in. Sometimes little bunnies at Disney are hard to see. Other times they're completely visible, so I wanted to make sure to incorporate that little bunny rabbit in there. And now I'm just adding a little bit of hot glue on one of the rocks, and I'm going back with that Mickey Mouse head topiary that we made earlier in the video, and I'm just pressing it on there so it will stand up. Now of course you can stop here because it's gorgeous as it is, or you can add a little Disney playset piece. Here I'm adding Thumper with a pink flower in his hands. And there you have it, a perfect little piece of the Flower and Garden Festival in your home. It would make a beautiful centerpiece on your Easter table as well. I truly hope that you will give this a go. It is so much fun and so pretty. So for the second craft, it's pretty much just like the first one. However, if you would like to spruce up your desk at work or a shelf at home, you can do the same thing on a smaller scale. I found these rocks, like I had said, at Big Lots, and so I wanted to add some of these to the bottom. You really can make this your own. There is no wrong way to create this. Just do what looks good to you, and it will be perfect. So I put about a half a cup of rocks in the bottom, and then I'm just gonna lightly cover it with some moss. Obviously, there's not room for any succulents in here, 
I mean, if you wanted to try it, you're more than welcome to do that, but I didn't want it so full that you really couldn't see anything in there. So I'm just going back with those same purple flowers I used before, but instead of pulling them off, I'm gonna leave them on the stem. You can add your flowers in any single pattern that you would like, and I apologize, I did not realize how much my hands were in the way. So I'm truly sorry for that, but you get the idea of everything that I'm doing. Now to partner with Thumper, we do have Miss Bunny, also from that same play set. And I'm just gonna slide her in the middle. She does have a little trouble standing up. She is absolutely gorgeous. She is such a stunning little bunny, and I'm so happy that we had her. Here I'm just adding a couple of those little fuzzy pieces of ivy or leaves or whatever these are. I love that they had texture to them, so it added just an extra little element to that. Here is the final project, both pieces put together. I hope that you guys will make these. If you do, make sure to tag me on Instagram in your photos. Thank you so much for coming along with me. I will see you guys next time.